This video summarizes the publication by Eirik et al. Titled Interleukin, IL-23 Blockade with Kuselkumab Potentially Modifies Psoriasis Pathogenesis. Rationale and Study Protocol of a Phase 3b Randomized Double-Blind Multi-Center Study in Participants with Moderate to Severe Plaque-Type Psoriasis. Plaque psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory disease involving plaque formation. Current pathogenic models suggest it is a Th17 cell-mediated process in which dysregulation of the immune system in the skin promotes inflammatory responses, resulting in abnormal proliferation of carotenocytes and infiltration of inflammatory cells. A variety of pro-inflammatory cytokines are involved, including IL-23, IL-17, and TNF-alpha. IL-23 has been described as a key regulator cytokine in psoriasis due to its potential to regulate the pathogenic Th17 cell differentiation and subsequent control of cytokines. In the early stages of the disease, environmental stimuli and loss of tolerance may activate the innate immune system in genetically predisposed people and lead to loss of tolerance and increased production of IL-23 by dendritic cells and macrophages. IL-23 drives a pathologic overactivation and expansion of Th17 cells, promoting an inflammatory cascade which results in the development of psoriatic lesions. Persistent high IL-23 levels sustain IL-17 production and leads to self-amplification. In chronic psoriasis, sustained high IL-23 levels and low TNF-beta levels promote IL-23 receptor expression, suppressing regulatory T-cell differentiation. IL-23 contributes to the differentiation and survival of pathogenic tissue-resident memory T-cells known as TRMs, which play a role in the recurrence of psoriatic skin lesions. Inhibition of IL-23 is thought to shift the balance towards regulatory T-cells by reducing TRMs, but not significantly affecting numbers of Tregs in the skin, which may explain the long-lasting therapeutic effects seen with IL-23 blockade. Studies of patients with psoriasis show that IL-23 inhibition results in high levels of clinical efficacy maintained through long-term treatment. GUI is a Phase 3b randomized, double-blind international study of guselkamab in patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis from sites across France and Germany. The primary objective is to demonstrate that super-responders, defined as patients receiving guselkamab who achieve an absolute passy of zero at both week 20 and week 28, maintain control of disease until week 68 with a prolonged treatment interval of every 16 weeks versus every 8 weeks. Other analyses stratify patients by disease duration, based on previous research which found short disease duration of less than or equal to 2 years was associated with maintained response compared with long disease duration of more than 2 years. Following screening in Part 1, eligible patients received 100 mg of guselkamab at weeks 0, 4, 12, and 20. As we move into Part 2, super responders achieving an absolute passy of 0 by week 20 and maintaining it to week 28 are randomized to receive 100 mg of guselkamab either every 8 weeks, group 2A, or every 16 weeks, group 2B. This assesses whether a longer treatment interval affects maintained disease control and skin memory. Group 2C comprises of non-super responders who receive 100 mg of Cuselcomab every 8 weeks until week 60. Biopsies and serum samples are taken from super responders and non-super responders to understand the pathophysiological differences in disease memory. Super responders whose PASI increases above 5 between weeks 28 and 68 enter the retreatment arm, group 2D, receiving guselkumab at the visit when their PASI increases above 5 and then 8 and 16 weeks thereafter until the end of the study to see if it is possible to regain disease control. The primary endpoint is the proportion of patients in the every 8-week versus every 16-week treatment arms who achieve an absolute PASI score of less than 3 at week 68. 
This analyzes the proportion of super responders who maintain disease control with an increased treatment interval. In part three, to investigate the maintenance of disease control, super responders with an absolute PASI score of less than three are withdrawn from treatment from week 68. Mechanistical substudies monitor immunological changes while study visits and telephone consultations are used to monitor disease activity. Patients whose PASI increases above the threshold of PASI-5 enter the retreatment arm, group 3C, with injections at the visit when their PASI increases above 5, and then 8 and 16 weeks thereafter before leaving the study. In summary, GUIDE intends to further understanding of the molecular and cellular drivers of psoriasis pathogenesis, elucidate how IL-23 blockade with Guselcumab can modify the course of disease, and identify whether treatment earlier in the disease course can improve patient outcomes.